with Valtina behind bars, the Holy Nation was no more. Sure, there were small pockets of resistance that believed in their ways, but they were no more a power than any other minor faction in the world. Peace had finally resumed in the settlement. The United City raid seemed to have ceased for now, and with the increased population from the ex-slaves, the town was thriving. Nack decided with the increased population it was best to build some more buildings, make the town feel like a proper town. Now that they had the huge amount of building materials, this was no longer a problem, and proper building work could finally get underway. On top of this, Nack decided to purchase some garu. Sure, the bulls were good enough, but a couple of extra pack animals wouldn't hurt, seeing as now that they were at peace once more, they could finally focus on trade and building up their coffers once more. With the huge amount of research materials Nack had looted from Narco's trap, it was up to Shrike to decipher them, to get new research for the town, to make them more advanced than any other nation, and finally complete Nack's utopia. Hello my fellow spuds and welcome back to another episode of Kenji. So, after last time we wiped out Valtina, the Holy Nation are basically no more. I had a look, good look round on the map afterwards and I think it's safe to say that we've wiped them out. So, the Holy Nation bases are now taken over by Fogmen. Uh, the rebirth is still going up. I, I tried desperately to look for various ways of finding out where this supposed leader was of rebirth. Couldn't find him anywhere, not even in the data files, so I've got no idea. Um, I can't wipe out Rebirth, basically. It just won't let me, which is a shame. But they're kind of keeping themselves to themselves. And worse comes to worse, I do have a way of wiping them out. But it would mean basically deleting the Holy Nation as a faction. So I don't really want to do that unless I really have to. But apart from that, the only other places where there are people are the Holy Farms. They still have a few people dotted around. Narco's Trap um, is now taken over by Tech Hunters, which is awesome. But anyway... We are finally at peace for the first time in a long time. We still have the occasional United Cities people come and raid us, but we haven't had one of them in a quite a long time. We're at peace, basically, which is really, really nice. So this episode is going to be a little bit different. We're not going to be doing non-stop action. We're not going to be raiding anywhere. We're not going to be looting anywhere. This episode is all about peace. We are going to basically take our newly acquired pack mules, Daisy and Biscuit, and we are going to basically go on a massive trading trip. We've already got 98,000 cats, but what's the harm in a few more? So we've got Packbull, who I, I forgot to rename, is filled with hashish and sake. Uh, Billy is filled with everything. Basically, all the first aid kits that we don't need anymore because Hong is now basically making the much better ones, the standard first aid kits. He doesn't really need that anymore. Uh, we've got loads of sake, grog, some more hashish, which is great. Uh, Daisy and Biscuit currently don't have anything, but I need to swap around some of the stuff that Billy currently has, because basically Billy is really encumbered, so I need to just swap out some of the stuff that Billy's got for what Biscuit's got. Okay, well that should be fine, I guess. Uh, so, now that that's done, we've got all our pack mules. I think what we should do... I need to change the squads around, actually. There we go. I don't know where wolf is someone's got wolf bernard put wolf down come on wolf what have you what have you got on you you got a piece of raw meat uh not really what i was hoping for what i need is i need to store some of the armor that we've got don't i right come in here we'll get some of the armor in you right first of all we're going to go over to panera because we can uh we're just going to trade as much as we can and then i think we're just going to keep going so knack on his way with his little with his little army of pack beasts on our way to make some money yeah, due to this uh, <laughs> encumbrance issue and the fact that Biscuit and uh, Daisy are basically both pups, they're running at a max of nine. So not great. Uh, we might just have to sell what we've got on Daisy and Biscuit and basically send them back to base because they're going to be next to useless on this trip if they're pack animals and they can't actually pull anything. So we're probably going to have to wait for them to grow up a bit more before we actually take them on proper trips. But at least this is a good starting point for them. Right, here we are in Panera. That wasn't very long. Need any supplies? Show me what you've got. Right, here we go. Uh, we need to trade some of these. How much do we get from 92%? It's not horrendous. We just want to get rid of them. They're bloody heavy. Right, let's have a look at the encumbrance then. None of them are encumbered now. Excellent. That's really good. Uh, we, we basically doubled our money. Nearly 200,000. Nice. Is there anything we actually want from these people? Engineers map? Uh, sure. Library map. We'll take that. We can start exploring ruins now that we're at peace for a bit. Get our tech up a lot and then we'll be fine let's have a look where are these then 
Oh, and they're, they're miles away. Absolutely miles away. So one up there and one over here. Okay, we could potentially explore them at some point. Right, Daisy and Biscuit, you both are fine as is, aren't you? You're both empty. Okay, I need you to run back to the outpost. Oh, come back. Being bad. <laughs> A bad mechanical dog thing. Right, on that note then, we should probably keep going. Oh, Shrike, you genius. We're at tech level five. What can we do now then in terms of tech? We need to be, have research bench level five. Okay, fine. That makes sense. Uh, can we upgrade it then? Upgrade. We just need iron plates. I'll do. And we've got our new buildings. Our step houses. That's awesome. Right. I kind of want to build some more turrets on these. Let's confirm that for the time being. And we'll work on the inside in a bit. But that's pretty cool that we've got them up and running. And we're just about to get tech level 5 up and running. I think that's really, really cool. Right. We've got our pack balls. We've got Nat Carrying Wolf. Uh, Bandit Raiders have arrived at Outpost. Slef, you get in. And we will shut that now please thank you there we go he's dead okay yes yeah, left you keep going i don't know if i mentioned this we had a couple of extra slaves join after the end of last episode so we've got a few more we've got uh stalk saint and sleft oh god i've got they, these two are out here okay well you can yeah go you fight them there we go go on biscuit and daisy Take them out. Oh, no. Oh. Oh, okay. Absolutely annihilated. Right. There we go. It's been defeated. Good. Right. You two, get in there. <laughs> Do we have anyone who could talk to these guys? Sad, Neil. I need you to talk to one of them. We need to see if we can recruit them, because it's been so long. Must be able to recruit them, surely. Surely, surely. You dare keep a soldier of the Empire captive? Release me at once. Must be nice second for those nobles all day. I hear they treat soldiers real well. You've got no idea, Rat. Well, then tell me. What are your plans for me? Hmm, we'll have to think about that. What skills do you have other than kissing ass of nobles? Now licking boots, is it? I work hard. I put bread on my own table each and every day. I'm a reliable hard worker. Make your own catons, do you? How about 500 cold ones if you join us? Good sense of humor. Okay, so, <laughs> no. Uh, we'll have to keep going. There is a way of buying them out. I just need to work out what the... Uh... I got lucky with Minamoto. Minamoto joined us on his own because we left him for so long. Uh, the other one we found, he... We went through and got lucky, and we just offered him 15,000 cats, and he just joined us outright. So if I can find that again, we should be able to get them to uh, join us, but it might take a little while. Right, okay. Our pack mules and knack carrying wolf just going for a leisurely swim. We'll get to Flats Lagoon eventually. Right, knack, okay, come in here. We're going to start off in here. We're going to work our way around selling everything. Right, okay, we'll take all that, and then we'll just move around, keep selling it all. We've got a lot to sell. Already at 215,000. Hey, you feeling lucky? Want to play a game of rock, paper, scissors? Hmm, what are the stakes? 50 cats a game, so chump what you're in. Hey, she, you noticed she made the shape of a scissors in her hand. Ha, what a noob. Rock. Scissors. Damn it. Okay, okay, one more time. Let me win my money back. Go. Here she makes this hand with the scissors. Uh, rock. How can I never win at this game? Fine, I ain't got any more cats left. I'll tell you what, beat me in the next direction and I'll tell you the secret ruins full of treasure. Ooh. Ruins full of treasure, man. If it's so much, why haven't you looted it yet? It's dangerous, man. <laughs> full of robots. Come on, man. Stop stalling. We got a deal or what? Fine. There's a hand holding. We're ready in the shape, shape of scissors. Wow, this is too easy. Oh, good damn you. Come on, one more time. Triple or nothing. Nope, pay up. Tell me where the magical ruins full of treasure is. Okay, okay. No need to make threats. I'll tell you. But you see this weird mountain thing northeast of the town here? Yeah, go on. Okay, so head towards that thing, but go around that mountain on the north side, heading east. And keep your eyes facing south. You'll see a suspicious-looking ruin with a bunch of huge metal wreckage around it. Some caught a strange vault thing. Okay, interesting. I hope you, those nasty robots tear you to pieces. Then I can collect my 100 cats. Panda will never know I borrowed her 100 cats. Genius. <laughs> right, okay, so potentially an ancient ruin that we can take. That's uh, That's interesting. Right, so we've just bought out everything at the armor's place, but we'll see if we can actually buy any armor. Plate jacket. Sure. We'll take all of that. We'll research it all. There we go, because we've got plenty of cats to spare. Then we'll go into these places. We'll sell the rest of it. Well, we'll sell as much as we can. We don't have a huge amount left, and then we'll be fine. Tell me what you got. Ooh, it's a hat shop. Samurai helmet. There we go. Paladin's heavy. Yeah, there we go. Provincial shoulder pads. Provincial hat. Okay, I'll take all that. Well, look how much we still got, though. It's ridiculous. 
That's it. Okay, we, <laughs> we sold barely any of what we've got. I might leave uh, the bulls here then. I'll give Billy and the pa and Pack Bull some meat so they've got something to eat. And what we're going to do is I'm going to leave them here uh, just for a little bit. And we're going to go explore these ruins. But it must be that weird mountain over there. So we need to run round the mountain over there. We stick to the east side and we're facing south. Oh, Shrike's just finished the uh, research bench. Right, so we should be able to research other stuff now. Oh, we've got we've got two AI cores. We could actually get to tech level six. The most advanced research bench with the best equipment you can imagine. Oh, oh I kind of need that. The largest builders you can make. Sturdy, imposing, spacious, sends a message to your enemies. Oh, we kind of want that as well. Now, I think I think tech level six first. Boom. And then we will see about anything else. Large defensive walls. Further upgrade the defensive walls, gates, and ramps with stronger foundations, making them more durable and imposing. Sure. Pull my leg. That's basically all the research stuff that we've got. Uh, was there anything else that we could use? Industry. We kind of needed some better weapon grades, didn't we? The best first aid kits you can make. That would be good. And that. That will be good. And then we can make some decent weapons. We can make the best armor. We've got the best walls. And we're at the highest tech level. I think that's pretty good. Right, so it said go round the east while keeping looking south. So is it this? Discovered strange vault. Here we go. Ooh. And that. Go sneaky, sneaky. I'm going to see if we can get into this thing. Discovered secret drug farm. What? <laughs> okay. Uh, we found multiple things now that we've got to explore. We've got a weird vault and a secret drug farm. I don't think it can get much better than that, can it? Uh, right. We can pick... We should be able to pick the lock on this. Go on, that. Pick the lock. We'll see what's inside. Oh, God. I can't even look around. Right, so we've got a vault spider. We've got vault guards. Can we sneak round? They haven't noticed us yet. Kind of want to get into there. That looks like where all of the good stuff is. Um, Is there an upstairs? There is an upstairs. Nat, can you get upstairs without being noticed? That's something. Hit the lock there. Uh, not bad sword. It's not amazing, though. There's nothing here. There's literally nothing upstairs. Uh, there's that. That's about it. Loot the ancient safe. Nothing. Nothing upstairs at all. Wonderful. So I'm guessing basically everything that we want is in that room there. Okay. Now get back down here. Oh, God. Okay. Run. Run, run, run. Okay. It's come out. All right, we're really good at crossbow now, so we should be able to just take it out fairly quickly. All right, come on. We can do this. I don't know if we're going to be able to recruit these guys. I doubt it. Come on, he's really... There we go, finally. Took quite a beating there. Christ, take that. Put that in there so we can take that, chuck it on the floor. Right, and then go sneaky, sneaky again. Can we get in past these guys? Oh, there's a lot of them. How many are there? Maybe nine and a vault spider? God. Um, we can knock them out. <laughs> sure. Can we be like really sneaky and knock them out? Thunk. Uh, right, chuck the spike club on the floor. Knock him out. There we go. Take that. Let's chuck the spike club on the floor. This one. This is ridiculous. Stealth KO. Thunk. Thunk. There we go. Thunk. This is amazing. I am loving this so far. Stealth KO that one. Thunk. This is amazing. This is amazing. Okay, and then we just need to stealth carry that one. Thunk. There we go. Right. Now we've just got this vault spy that we can't do anything against. Uh, do you reckon we can just run past it? Nack, you want to try running past it? Oh, I passed it. If I can just get round. Okay, this is bizarre because I can't actually see what I'm doing. Nack, this is, this is like your only chance of doing this. So please do it well. That's a really weird weapon that we found. Okay, take that. Nothing. 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 Pick that lock there. We got another weird weapon. Um, there's literally nothing in here. I was told there will be riches. Right. The safe. The safe has a desert saber worth a lot of cats. Okay, that's probably worth it. Um, right, Nack, I need you to get out of here because this is a... There we go. Okay. Oh, God. Okay, that was weird angles. Weird, weird angles. We did it. We're out. <laughs> That was really, really bizarre. Let's go see this weird secret drugs lab. Okay, so what we got over here? We've got a black gorilla being attacked by land bats. Oh, God. 
That's terrifying. I don't really want to be a part of any of that. Um, where is this secret drugs lab? Go over to the secret drugs farm. Go on. Where is it? I want to see it. Is it? Oh my god, look at that. Oh, how weird. Do we have any guards or anything? Doesn't seem to be like abandoned or anything. Okay, the doors are locked, so we'll have to we'll have to be sneaky. Right, open the door. Go in. Oh. Oh my god, this is adorable. <laughs> I mean, adorable illegalness. We've got loads of hemp. We've got a hemp processor. We've got a tiny little security spider. Can we just run in quickly? Will it notice us? Okay, we've got loads of hemp, some burnt books, some hashish, uh, armor plating, some more hashish. Lots of hashish, lots of hashish. I think it's probably only going to be hashish in here, isn't it? All right, just get out there. Is this going to be the same every time? We'll have a little look, but that's really cool. <laughs> I like that. I might have to replicate something like that in our own base because that's uh, adorable as illegal things go. Right, okay. Have a little look. Is it going to be the same? Yeah, lots of hashish. This is easy money if you come across this early on. I mean, annoyingly, Knack doesn't really have the carry capacity to take any of it, but it's awesome. It, that's, it's really cool. Right, get in. Oh, we got security spider right there. Run. Okay. Yeah, not worth it. That's awesome. I keep saying awesome, but it but it is. <laughs> uh, black shifters, it's called. Okay. How strange. While we're here, should we try and find um, Pinfist? Because Nack's been told he's in the mountains. I don't exactly know where. I don't know whether it's going to be this mountains or this mountains. We'll try this mountains first. See what we can find. Because Nack needs some more allies, and if we can find Tin Fist and the Anti-Slavers, that would be amazing to have on our side. The first Leviathan we've seen all game. They're huge, 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 huge creatures. And they're like ridiculous. Look at them. 7,000. Nack, for example, has 75. <laughs> it's a, It's got a ridiculous amount of HP per thing. But if you can hunt them down, they give you Leviathan pearls, which sell for an absolute fortune. Uh, this is not a land that's very inviting, is it? No. <laughs> no, it definitely isn't. Black ash everywhere. It looks like pools of acid. Charred landscape. This isn't a nice place to be. Right, but hopefully we'll find the anti-slavers here. Right, we discovered unknown. I think that's where we need to go. Go on, Nack. Look at this weird little narrow winding up path going up to the top of the mountain. This is awesome. It must be up here. The anti-slavers must be up here, surely. <gasps> oh. We're somewhere. Where are we? Uh, have we have we discovered it? What's it called? It's just called unknown still. Anti-slavers, yay! There we go. Right, we found them. We found them. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. Oh, it's Tinfist. Welcome to the Anti-Slavers, brother. Who are you? My name's Tinfist. I'm the leader of the Anti-Slavers. We devote our lives to freeing slaves and beating up slavers. Why do you guys mostly fight without weapons? Isn't that harder? I was taught by Gatwood the Soft. <laughs> he was the founder of modern martial arts. Got his name by never killing anyone, despite being undefeated. After he died, I kept on with this no-killing tradition for 150 years. Then I sort of relapsed. But I still try to minimize the loss of life wherever possible. <laughs> that's amazing. When you can fight unarmed, nobody can ever disarm you. That, that's very true. Even when you're naked and in chains, it's perfect weapon for a slave. I want to join the anti-slavers. Good. Talk to Grey. He should be out here around HQ somewhere. He deals with new recruits. So where's this grey person? Grey! He croaks, his voice soft and quiet. Looks like we've got a visitor. Good visitor or bad, I wonder. Good, I hope. Then talk, what is it you want? I want to join the anti-slavers. Well, an enemy of the Holy Nation is a friend of the anti-slavers. And what makes you want to join? Uh, both one and three are true, but I think fight for freedom and peace is what Knack wants. Freedom's a beautiful thing, isn't it, comrade? But the road is not so beautiful. You make allies with the anti-slavers, you make enemies with the Traders Guild. You'll fight for people's freedoms, yet those very people spit on you with that freedom. You'll fight for what is noble and high, but you'll live grim and low at battle for a simple loaf of bread. It's the price we pay for the fight we believe in. Is it the price you can pay? Sign me up. Relation with United Cities, minus 30. Relationship with Traders Guild, decreased by minus 30. Ooh. Traders Guild are now hostile towards you. Oh dear. Okay, well, we were gonna we were gonna take them out anyway. Then I'll spread the word, Knack. Don't give up the fight for freedom. We've got your back. Yeah, we've got another ally. Okay, so is there anything here that we can buy, sell, 
new recruits anyone anything i don't know no idea uh we'll go in here this looks like a little friendly place hello hello everyone hello hello new allies what can you sell me another engineer's map exciting uh lost library at hunters yeah i suppose that'll do oh we've got a couple new locations where are they then oh they're all down here a ruin there ruin there and one up there <laughs> none of them nearby where we are that's fine we've got another ally i mean the, the anti-slavers are kind of always gonna be part of what we are we are basically anti-slavers ourselves so the fact that we've got now the backing from them is amazing the fact that we are now enemies of the traders guild is not very good but we were always gonna fight them anyway so might as well be enemies with them now what's a stove's gambit then let's just have a little explore while we're here we might as well God, look how foreboding that looks. That looks horrendous. Ooh, what's that? Skeleton bandits. Okay, that's slightly terrifying. There's just a groups of skeletons running around. This place is terrifying. Don't really want to be in here that much. Oh, hello. There's something there. Go explore. Crumbling labs. Ooh, okay. Oh, what the hell is that? King Gorillo. Uh, you've got some fairly nice weapons around. Samurai armor, katana... This is all quite nice, but not much of it is high worth. I mean, the plank, the ring, save the topper would be. The rest doesn't look like it is. How strong is he? He's ridiculously strong. Jesus. You are huge. You are a huge beast. You could eat Knack for breakfast. This looks like completely different. Is this part of a different ruin? Oh, God. Okay. Um, Lots of security spiders. I don't even know if we're going to be able to get round all of them. Oh, there we go. Okay, Nax flew. Good. Okay, we've got a security spider at the top of the stairs. But if we get past it, we've got a lot of loot here. Sneaky, sneaky does it. Oh, you're through. Oh, you're beautiful. Well done. Well, let's just loot this place, see what we can find. Uh, fuel pellet. I really need to start collecting these because they weigh an absolute ton, and especially for strength training. They would be incredible. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Uh, three kilograms. How heavy is that? 0.5. Yeah, we want them. Got another one of them. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. These pack generator cores as well. They're amazing because they're 20 kilos each. Oh, I really want to take all of it. We'll keep looting around, see what we can find. I want to find research stuff, really. We can always come back for the heavy stuff for strength training. Another one. Research already known for both of them. Oh, more of them. Nice so many cpu units as well uh what's your run speed 22 okay you should still be able to outrun stuff as you are right now i don't think we can loot any more though but there's so many cpu units i mean cats aren't really an issue for us we've got so many cats okay knack i need you to go sneaky sneaky and i need you to just get out of here just go get past the spiders there we go you're fine you can outmaneuver all of them there we go just punch him out the way and you're free excellent okay good good stuff let's go up to stobes gambit we'll see if we can find anything there and then i think we'll start heading back because it's starting to get late and by the time we get back at this point it will be uh it'll be the morning we can start selling everything again right bye bye king gorillo see you again soon <laughs> i think he's trapped in there can he not get out i think he's too big to get out i feel a bit sorry for him oh discovered an outpost go check out the outpost then right okay don't know what this place is lost armor store second empire dead 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 hey, it looks fairly safe oh my god masterwell stone oh my god seriously masterwork rags colored and a masterwork leg oh you're you're kind of killing me you have to take that and i kind of want to take that to there hey there we go oh my god are you serious how much were they? Well, they cost barely anything, did they? Yeah, so we'll just chuck those lot on the floor. Okay, we've got some more stuff. We've still got the safe to go. Specialist. Oh, you're killing me. There's a lot of nice stuff in here. If only we had another bag. Balls. Uh, we can always come back for this stuff, I guess. I don't want Knack to be unsafe. I should have brought Wolf over here. Wolf would have been able to carry loads of stuff. Oh, there's so much stuff. I mean, we could just get rid of the bolts, and we could take both of them. That leaves us with one bolt. That's nice as well, but we can't take it. Okay, well, we've basically taken everything apart from one ring saber and one top. 
But Nat, what is your run speed is the question. 18 miles an hour. Oh, <laughs> okay. Not great, but we've got all of that. All of these fuel pets will be really useful for strength training some people as well. So I'm not, although it seems like a massive waste, I'm not too mad about having them. I think we, what we need to do is just go now. Now to go back to Flats Lagoon. By the time we get back, we should be able to sell all the stuff. Uh, but now we've got a spare leg. A masterwork stealth leg to be exact. That would be in... Oh my god, what the... There's a crab. Get out of the way of the crab. How fast can the crab run? 12 miles an hour. Okay, well, I think we're all right. That's kind of crazy. There's just a big crab. A really big crab. Okay, go back to Flats Lagoon. But yeah, pretty happy with all the loot we've got. We just need to make sure that Nat gets back alive now and we'll be fine. Crow's Chosen Invasion. That's new. So here stands the Palace of the Holy Dog Slayer. Oh, they're coming to attack us because we wiped out the Holy Nation. Okay. I mean, should I be flattered? Uh, attack. Please? W why aren't you attacking? Shoot at. Come on. We've got a mercenary killer just crippled lying there, aimless. Can't do anything. Right, I think that's that's basically the crowd's chosen all wiped out already. You seem to be standing still. Okay, open open the gate. Okay, um, there. <laughs> right, the war leader's coming in. As uh, the others are just standing there aimlessly staring off into space. Here he comes. Uh, he is also standing there aimlessly. Who's that? Oh, God. One hit. Oh, crippled. Instantly crippled. Uh, he just collapsed because of... I think blood loss or his leg just is completely screwed. Okay, fine. Who are you? We've got some more crowds chosen just coming. Okay, they're just leaving. They're, they've had enough. <laughs> right. Nack's still going. Going strong. Go on, Nack. Has your strength XP gone up any anything? Oh, about 5%. So not horrendous. Hopefully we'll get to like 20 or so by the time we get Flats Lagoon. That'll be good. Are you going to swim across that? You're pretty bad at swimming as it is. You are. Okay, well, this is going to be fun. Um, I'll see you in an age, Nat. God. Nat, hurry up. There's a black gorilla coming. Come on. Um, how fast can they run? 15. Okay, you should be right as long as you can actually get out the water quick enough. Go on. Run. Nat, I would not want to be you right now. Jesus, that thing is horrendous. Run, Nat. Run. Us off. Oh, God, now there's land bats. Okay, are they going to attack us? Yes. Yes, they are. They're really slow, though, so we're fine. Everything's really slow in these parts, which is quite nice. Oh, my God. Okay, so one Lambat seems far enough, but if you come across all of them... God, they're not exactly weak. They've all got two, 200 XP, 300 for their chest. That's actually quite strong. All right, luckily, Nat can uh, easily outrun them, but it's still a little bit terrifying. This is a really cool part of the map that I haven't really explored at all yet. I mean, we've really stuck to just this general area. We haven't really explored anything outside of this. We've still got this part of the map. We've still got this big part of the map. Still got all of the United Cities bit to explore and also the top and the Canwall Plains. We've got a lot more left to go and explore of this place. But I would like to explore a little bit of this area a bit more. We've seen some skeletons running around, the skeleton bandits. It would be quite nice if we could take a couple of those and try and recruit them. The next couple of episodes, it's probably going to be us exploring a little bit more. We'll probably start picking at the slave traders, I think. I don't think they're going to be as hard as the Holy Nation. I think the problem with the Holy Nation is they've got heavy armor and also weapons that are armor penetrating as well as strong against skeletons. So it's like an insanely good combo compared to the United Cities where they have heavy armor, but they have katanas, which don't have good armor penetration. They're not good against robots. We should be okay with skeletons against them, basically. As long as we ourselves have some armor-penetrating weapons, we'll be fine. Maybe if we start south of the swamp, we could take out the slave market, which is the, the big one. We could also go, say, east of Ocran Shield, and we can start taking out a few of the ones around here. Uh, we've also got the market and the slave farm over there. We've, we've got a lot that we can take out. So, yeah, I think we might start doing that at the end of the next episode. I think it would be nice to do a little bit of exploring, especially with Knack. We need better armor, better weapons for our people, and we've got a load of better weapons now for our people after that loot run. Right, can we get someone to talk to these captains, make them see reason? Minamoto, you were once part of them. Ooh, we got one. Just talked to him, and he just said he wanted to join us. And he's out. Welcome. Oh, no, you're a woman. I'm sorry. 
Right. Well, we need to get you some uh, some weapons. What are your stats? Oh my god, you're amazing as well. We've got we've got another amazing recruit with us. So anyway, guys, I think I'm going to call it a day. So thank you so much for watching. If you've liked what we're saying, please leave a like and subscribe. A massive thank you to all my patrons: Seth, Pet, Overall, Seraph, Drew, Clint, David, Aaron, Dale, Mikhail, Emma, Deblagrai, Kalara, Daniel, Dama, Len, Wolf, AJ, Andrew, Mitch, MVH, Nexus, Lobby Lord, T Chaos, Tall Man, Blue Aris, Alex, and Rimmer. Thank you so much, guys. You guys are just amazing. So thank you so much for supporting me. Next episode, like I said, we're going to do some uh, spelunking. We're going to explore some ruins, get some more research stuff done. At that point, we will look at starting to take out some of the slave farms, some of the smaller ones, maybe, where we can take small hit squads, take them out, then keep running back and forth. But a mix of exploring and light attacking, I think, next episode. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. Cheers. Bye-bye.